Hello, the world. Squirrels here from the RMD, and happy hump day. Happy Wednesday, and happy birthday to myself. Can I say that? Is that weird? Um, today's my birthday. So, um, I am, yeah, I'm excited. So, I feel like my camera's, like, really dim. Does that look normal to you? Does that look normal to anybody or not normal to anybody? I feel like my camera's dim. We're going to see if we can fix that real quick. Hang on. My camera looks a bit... Oh, that's why. That's why. Because it is dim. Hang tight. That's a little better. Let's see if we can't brighten that up just a tad. How about this way? Whoa, too much. And let's do this. And let's do this. That's a little better. That's a tad better. I still feel like I'm a bit dim, but we'll leave that alone. So, again, good morning, everyone. Hopefully, everyone's doing well today and uh, this week. Um, as I mentioned, today's my birthday. I'm 32 today, 32 years old today. Um, and we're playing a game that I know is not popular. In fact, it wasn't even popular when it first came out. Uh, nope. Uh, this is a game called, and you can see it at the top right there, um, this is a game called Beyond the Beyond. Uh, this was the first uh, JRPG to release on the PlayStation console. Um, it, as you, you can see it's a trademark of Sony Interactive um, under, the li under a license from Camelot. So uh, Camelot um, Software Entertainment or something like that. Software something. Um, Beyond the Beyond would later become um, a, like kind of a precursor to a series that did get better reception. I don't remember what the name of the series is. I could, in fact, I could look it up. Let me see. Uh, Beyond the Beyond. The Beyond the Beyond was a precursor for. Let me see if I can find it it might be in the wiki actually um it's i mean it's a similar gameplay style to games like final fantasy dragon quest and fantasy star but but ultimately it led to the creation of an actual series later I'm um, trying to see if I can figure out what it was because once I say what it was, what it is, then you guys are gonna be like, "Oh, that's oh that oh okay, all right." Uh, beyond. Hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it though. What if I do review? Yeah, it's got like a 4 on IGN, a 5.5 .5 on GameSpot. Yeah, it's just like... Um, and, the, and the interesting thing too is like, it's, it's a solid, normal JRPG. There's nothing like overwhelmingly positive about it. There's also nothing overwhelmingly negative about it either when you read the reviews. Like, it's just, it is what it is. It's not a bad game. It's not a fantastic game. It's not a horrible game. It's just, it is. Um, and um, that was enough for me when I was 10 years old to get myself into this genre. Let me see if I can pull up this review. This review might actually reveal what it would later spawn. Uh, da, 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 beyond those attempts, blah, blah, blah. Man, I was just reading something on this not too long ago. I don't remember. Anyway, 
I do have a walkthrough up, so if I get stuck or anything, we'll we'll refer to it. But I'm not going to. I'm going to try my best not to refer to it actually in this case, which is going to be very difficult for me. But it's, so uh, a little history though. Actually, before we even get into the history, let's do the logistics for today. So first up, um, first up, the golden acorn for today. The golden acorn for today is from First Peter chapter three verse eighteen. Uh, it is a Bible scripture verse today, and I understand, as I've been saying, um, I understand that not all of you share the same faith as me, and that's okay. Um, and that's okay. If you want to talk about um, what I believe, then by all means, shoot some questions in chat, and I will be happy to answer them. Um, otherwise, you can also uh, whisper me or DM me if you don't feel comfortable starting that kind of a that kind of a discussion. Um, but in any case, um, I still feel like this particular piece of scripture is something that um, all of us can certainly glean wisdom out of, even if you don't uh, you don't believe in uh, in the Bible. And it says, "Remember, it is better to suffer for doing good if that's what God wants than to suffer for doing wrong." Uh, the the nuggets of wisdom for those of you that um, that don't believe the same as me would essentially be the first and and last parts of this verse. Remember, it's better to suffer for doing good than to suffer for doing wrong. Um, you know, the world is constantly having us um, having us. Uh, I don't know wash out what we believe is right and wrong. Uh, the moral compass is becoming blurred in today's world. And, um, you know, if you're going to suffer consequences to some extent or another, wouldn't it be nice knowing that you're suffering because you did the right thing at the end of the day and not suffering because you deserved to suffer for doing the wrong thing? That's essentially all I'm trying to get out to you guys today. Um, and uh, hopefully encourage you to do the right thing, uh, regardless of the cost. Um, hopefully that can encourage you guys today and the rest of this week. Um, I do need, or I do want to remind everyone that today might be my birthday, yes, but in honor of my my birthday in celebratory fashion, um, as well as for one year on Twitch, we will be doing my first ever 12-hour stream this coming Friday. 12-hour stream this Friday in two days, um, and uh, we will be uh, playing the release of The Outer Worlds, The Outer Worlds uh, for 12 hours. I'm excited about that, and hopefully you guys will um, enjoy it and um, come join me on that day. I always like to remind people about Stream Crux as well. Stream Crux is a fantastic platform. It's basically, I've been saying, it's basically the uh, the search feature that we all wish the Twitch search would be. Um, essentially, you can find Twitch streamers that are right up your alley based on personality as well as content. Um, and you can go to all of your favorite streamers and assign them up to three personalities that you feel those streamers um, uh, those streamers relate to. Things like chat responsive, things like friendly or family friendly, or charismatic, or competitive, or educational, those types of personality traits you can assign to all of your favorite streamers, create a followers list, or a following list, follow all of your favorite streamers, and then you can upvote those channels as a whole, so that they those channels get better visibility when people are searching for the categories that they play in, and the personalities that they have as a human being. So do check out Stream Crux. While I'm talking about it, I always like to uh, to go into my following page and go ahead and upvote all of my favorite channels. Um, just uh, because this is a great way of reminding myself to go ahead and do that. So here we go. And it literally is going to take probably less than 20 seconds to go down here. Now, I don't have the, the absolutely largest following list in the world. I'm trying to grow it for some great content. So if you're on Stream Crux, please do let me know, and I will add you to my following list. Um, and there you go. Just like that, done, uh, done upvoting all of those that are on my following list. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's about the gist of that. So uh, let's get into this game. So let's switch gears here. Now, as I was saying, a little bit of history on this game 
Uh, this game came out in nineteen, well, in Japan in nineteen ninety five, but it came to the to uh, to to the U S. to North America in nineteen ninety six, as you can actually see at the bottom here. Came in nineteen ninety six um, with uh, or as being, as to my knowledge, it's the first JRPG on the PlayStation. Now this was before. Um, the, I think it was like what, January, 1997, something like that. The beginning of 1997, that, uh, Final Fantasy seven came from Japan over to North America. And, um, so this essentially held the U S over for a handful of months until we finally got Final Fantasy seven, which of course, as most people know, went on to be probably the best JRPG of the platform. Arguably, you know, compared to a couple other ones, but it's certainly one of the most recognized in pop culture. So that said, um, Beyond the Beyond, like I was saying earlier, it's nothing insanely amazing, nothing insanely horrible, but this holds a special place in my heart because this introduced me to the JRPG series. In fact, I would go on to try Final Fantasy VIII um, a couple years after I played this, and I actually hated Final Fantasy VIII because I wasn't yet accustomed to JRPGs. This being my first ever exposure to it, I didn't really know what to expect in the genre other than this, and I didn't think that they were the same. I did not believe that Final Fantasy VIII was in the same genre as Beyond the Beyond because they look and feel so very different. Um, so... Um, so for me, I played this. I did enjoy it. Um, uh, my dad actually played it mostly, uh, if I'm honest. Um, so this and Top Gun were my first two games. And then like a week later, I got Darkstalkers too. Um, but anyway, uh, Beyond the Beyond, we never actually beat it. We got to a certain spot and like got stuck. And this was before strategy guides on the internet were out. This was before walkthroughs were out. This was before game FAQs was out. Um, so we got to a certain point, got stuck, never actually beat the game. Um, even to this day, haven't beat the game. I've come back to it, just didn't have the, haven't had the time to devote to actually getting to the end of the game. Hopefully I can change that this time around. It might take us a little while, but that's the plan. Um, but yeah, I, this was the, my first ever exposure to this genre. So with that, let me turn the sound on for the game. Here we go. Oh yeah, listen to that soundtrack. Alright. So I've mapped my Steam controller to the controls of this PlayStation emulator. At last you've come, something terrible is about to happen, I need your help. And so you can see there's this woman here. To be honest, I don't remember her name or I don't even know if we ever get her name. She might just be some fantastical creature, uh, for all I know. Um, but she's carrying um, this uh, this dragon. I want to say this dragon's name is like Steiner or something. Um, but it's like a little baby dragon. We wind up getting it in this game. And I can't actually hit continue. Which journey do you wish to continue? And this is a game that I started back in like 2015 or something. But we are not, in fact... Oops, didn't mean to hit circle that many times. We are not going to continue our game. We're going to start a new game, of course. So it's gonna, we're going to have to go back through that because I just hit circle too many times, which quit the game for us. Things we've learned over the years of making video games, right? Alright, here we go. So again, 1996 JRPG, the first JRPG to my knowledge that came to the PlayStation. Uh, the original PlayStation, this was my first ever JRPG I played. What is my name? So I think the default name is Finn. But for our sake, we're just going to say Squirrels. Or Squirrel, singular. <laughs> All right. Together with Steiner. Yep, I got it right. Nice. Together with Steiner, you must save the world from an upcoming danger. 
Steiner should be an adequate partner. He will certainly try his best for you. Steiner, take care of Squirrel. Squirrels. I'm just going to say Squirrels. Squirrels, I'll take you to the village of Isla. There, our adventure begins. Darling, Sir Kevin's and Squirrels are a little late. Do you think they're alright? Hmm, I'm sure they're fine. They will probably be home soon. What do you mean by they? Well, they're fine. Every time Sir Kevin visits, he takes Squirrels out into the fields and instructs him to swordplay until he is completely exhausted. How can you call that fine? Oh, Annie, I understand your concern, but you shouldn't take your frustration out on your father. But Sir Kevin... Sir Kevin's is being too hard on him. If Squirrels gets hurt again, I will never forgive him. What was that all about? Hmm. Oh, I think she just worries about Squirrels a lot. Unfortunately, it looks like her concern might be justified. Look. Huh? What do you mean? Sir Kevin's. Oh, Squirrels. getting late. We were beginning to worry. Hmm. I didn't realize how quickly time flies. Well, I hope Squirrels is not hurt. Oh, he is quite alright. When he recovers consciousness, he won't feel a thing. I don't want to be rude, but... Even though you're his father, don't you think you're being a bit harsh? Squirrels is just a kid. Why are you training him like this? It's too cruel. I love how every time a character is frustrated, their little avatar shakes a little bit. <laughs> I know it's your job to defend the kingdom, and this may be hard for you to understand, but for women, we value children more than our own lives. Obviously, do keep in mind, those watching, if there's anything in this plot that is a little outdated um, value-wise, um, please do note that this came out in 1996, and it was a Japanese RPG in 1996. Squirrels! How terrible! I must speak with you, Sir Kevins. I have always wanted to tell you... I think your methods are extreme. You allow Squirrels, who is without a mother, to live with us, but when you visit once a month, you nearly torture him to death. Is this your idea of being a good father? Annie, calm down. If this ever happens again, I will I will never forgive you. Oh, Annie. I must apologize, Sir Kevin's. She has her mother's spirit. Oh, perhaps or perhaps her father's. Ha 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 Dad, if Squirrels gets hurt like that again, I'm holding you responsible as well. Well, Sir Galahad, I think I will return to the castle. What? You mean you're leaving without saying goodbye to squirrels? I care for him, but the longer I stay with him, the harder it will be to leave him here. I'm also worried about things at the castle. You're worried about Bandor, right? Yes, we recently found several of their spies roaming around our kingdom. I wouldn't be surprised if they attack us while I'm not there. Sir Galahad, please take care of squirrels. Will you ever change your mind and return to Marion Castle? I'm sorry, but no. Ah, oh, it must be the young prince that you don't like, huh? Marion will be fine with you and Samson there. An old soldier like me only wants to live the rest of his days happily. Squirrels has grown strong, much more than I expected. Hmm. I know, as a reward, why don't I take him, show him to the castle? Show him around the castle, please tell him to go there when he recovers. Oh well, but that's kind of boring, why not give him a challenge? If he succeeds, then he can go to Marion. That's a good idea, please do that.
there's Steiner. They did voice acting for him. We don't even need to read his stuff. Good morning, squirrels. The dragon speaks! Hee <laughs> hee. Morning, sleepy guy. Daddy wants something, has something important to tell you. He's been waiting a while, so please see him as soon as possible. Your best friend Steiner took care of you all night. You should thank him. And he took care of you too. What is she talking about? Let's go, squirrels. Galahad is waiting. Alright, so... There we go. Now we can roam around. So, this is really annoying. Um, but if you want to search things, you need to actually do a search here. So, and just like in a lot of games... You want to search everywhere. I think you, there might even be... Okay, I was going to say, I think you can hit triangle and just do a, ser a quick search. But I think in the original game that wasn't the case. Oh, nice. I got something. See, look at that. Uh, what did I get? Oh, nope. Search the area. Um, so... Is it... Crap. Alright, so X pulls up the menu. Triangle auto-searches the area super weird. Um, so we just got an herb, I think. Uh, we've got um, prepare status formation settings. Alright, so we're going to make the message windows go fast. Um, and I guess that's okay. And yeah, battle windows we definitely want on. Formation squirrels is going to be actually no. I want to put squirrels in position two. And yeah, he doesn't know any magic yet. Can't talk to anybody. Yeah, and we can't even equip anything yet, so let's go. Oh, I should have looked in the other barrels to the right. Oh well. You finally woke up, squirrels. I have important news. Please sit down. Squirrels, would you like to see Marion Castle? I have a small favor to ask. If you do it for me, I'll take you to the Marion Castle. There's a cavern called the Cave of Spirits to the far east of this village. Sir Galahad removes a flask from the shelf. A natural spring in the deepest part of the cave contains magical spirit water. I want you to fill this flask with the water. What do you say? Will you do it? Receives flask. What about me? Can I go too? Annie, please listen. This world is going somewhere very dangerous, and besides, you're just a girl. I can't let you go. See? Like I said, dated values here. Dated values. It's not me. It's the video game from 1996. Oh, is that right? You think I'm just a weak girl, huh? Fine. I won't ask next time. Uh, you want to go too, right? Well, you're not a kid, you're a dragon. <laughs> go on and help squirrels. I feel sorry for Annie, but let's hurry up and get the spirit water. Alright, let's go check the vases upstairs really quick. There might even be stuff downstairs that we can check. Again, I'm trying to do this without looking at a guide. Alright, 
empty. And sometimes you search areas that aren't things that you would think are searchable. All right, let's check the basement. I think there's something in the basement that we can get, like a shield or something. Ah, oh, short sword. Okay, perfect. Search the barrel, receives antidote. Too heavy. Empty. Got an herb. See, look at this. This is amazing. Search storage trunk. Let's remove any items. What do we want to remove? Let's see if there's any items. Aha! So we're going to take all this stuff. Armor. Light shield. Weapons. There's no weapons inside. And is there any money? There's no gold inside. Alright, here we go. Let's go. And we can store stuff in there too if we want. Oops. Um, let's go to the items here. We can... Oh, it's it's already equipped, so it auto-equipped the stuff when we got it. It says E next to it if it says equipped. Alright, sweet. Let's go. Hold on, squirrels. I almost forgot. In the Cave of Spirits, there's a fork in the road with two points. Take the path to the right, because the left one is very dangerous. Don't forget, at the fork, go to the right. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go. And this should put us on the world map. Okay, so out here we can't save either. We can only save this game... Um, I think, yeah. We can only save this game on, at a, um, at a church. So let's get into a fight out here so we can kind of see what things look like. Or we can just go straight to the cave, I guess, but... Yeah. Alright, fine, we'll just go to the cave. Maybe the game won't let us get into a fight yet. Until we get to the cave, I don't know. Oh, here we go. First fight. And it doesn't teach us how to do anything. So... Hey, Eloquent Madman, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Hopefully your week is going well. Happy hump day to you. We are playing a unique game. Well, I wouldn't say it's that unique. It's a JRPG, and it's a pretty basic JRPG. Um, it's called Beyond the Beyond, and it was the first ever Japanese role-playing game I ever played. Huh? I came anyway. Oh, it's Annie. Oh, it's Annie? What kind of greeting is that? Annie, why are you why are you here? You're not thinking about going with us, are you? Why, Steiner? Do you think I would be a, nu a nuisance if I came along? Do you feel the same way, squirrels? Really? Are you sure I won't be in the way? But maybe I should not- oops. If I get in your way, then you won't be able to do the favor for my father. It's about two seconds out of sync. Hey, is that any better? It's usually out of sync, but it's usually only like a... Only like a hundred milliseconds out of sync. Sweet, thanks. Sorry about that. Appreciate you letting me know, though. <laughs> that might have taken a little while before I realized what was going on. Um, Alright. I knew that's how you felt, just like every other man. You think you're so strong that you don't need a woman's hand, huh? Again, people watching, this game is from 1996 with outdated values. I'm not so easily scorned. I'm the daughter of the kingdom's top knight, and I've been trained to fight. Annie, where are you going? Where I go doesn't concern the two of you. When I get the spirit water, maybe you'll respect me then. We're in trouble, squirrels. This place is dangerous. We must stop Annie. Okay, so... Oops. No, don't search the area. Let me... Oops. No, stop it. Status. That's what I was looking for. So, the unfortunate thing in this game is it doesn't give you, like, um, a bar for your health. And it only gives you your current health. So my current health, and that's vitality points, VP, is at 10 out of 12. LP, I think is life points, and I think that's how many times you can die before, like, you dead. 
or something like that. Or like, oh no, when you revive, you use a certain amount of life points to get back vitality points, I think. I don't know, it's confusing. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, but when we look at like the top left of our screen right now, it just says VP is 10. Okay, so we gotta kinda know like how much health we, we actually have. And we don't have any magic right now, we're just doing basic attacks, fighting some bats. But if we spam the X button while we're attacking, there's a chance that we could um, get a bonus attack from Steiner, our pet dragon. Hey, good morning, Yama. That was creepy. Uh, um, good morning, Yama. Thank you so much for the happy birthday. Really appreciate it. There we go. We just... I don't know if you heard the chime, but we just got a bonus attack from Steiner there, our pet dragon. Is the, uh, is the game audio too loud, by the way? There she goes. Oh, I keep doing that. I'm so used to hitting triangle as the main menu. Um, so we're at 4 VP. Ah, oh, yes, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Madman. No, audio is always good, dude. Thanks. So it's, I mean, like, so the audio is, like, different, right, For from game to game to game. But I try to match levels as best I can. Um, and sometimes it's hard for me to tell how much louder the game is in certain, uh, in certain games. Um, I feel like I should use an herb. But we're only getting hit for, like, a couple health at a time. So we're just going to keep going. So, as I was telling Madman and uh, um, Yama, this, I figured we'd change it up today and play a game that I haven't played on stream before. Oh my gosh. Alright, now we're down to 2 VP. Alright, we need to use an herb real quick on ourselves. There we go. Ma back to max. Healed us for 10. Um, so, this Beyond the Beyond game was my first ever exposure to a JRPG, uh, to this genre, to a Japanese role-playing game. My first ever. So this, I played this before I ever played my first Final Fantasy game, and even then, when I played my first Final Fantasy game, I was not a fan. Um, so, I enjoyed this though, right as soon as I played it. So kind of funny. Nice. Leveled up. Nice alignment with your name in the menu you pulled up. Nice alignment with your name in the menu you pulled up. The L almost looks like a 1 among the numbers below it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Uh, so I was going to put squirrels, plural, but this game is so old that it only allows like five characters for names for whatever reason. Or five characters for me to p type in a name anyway. So if my name was like Brandon, I wouldn't have been able to put it in. <laughs> so that chime in the game, anytime you hear that cha-ching sound, that means that we successfully um, triggered some kind of bonus attack. And the way you trigger that in this game is by quite legitimately, or quite literally, just spamming the X button. Keep doing that. Um, all right, he's at seven. The analog controllers are not designed for this. This is original PlayStation, and I'm trying to use an analog controller here. Nice guard, nice block. Oh, not that time. All right, he's at six health. This is like before HP was like a normal thing. That's not to say like other video games didn't use the term HP for health, but this was kind of before HP as a term was commonplace in RPGs. There's Annie, we finally caught up to her. I feel like every single screen we've caught up to her. Leave me alone. 
I said leave me alone. Wait, which way was the dangerous path? It was it was left, right? Uh, yeah, the dangerous path was, the dangerous path was left. Um, we are going to go right first, so we can get our spirit water. Ah, uh, shoot. We're going to grab our spirit water before we go heal Annie, I think. Or before we go get Annie. So the only character in Final Fantasy VII, in fact, when I played that game when it was released, uh, that's what I named Cloud, and I've used it ever since. Oh, okay. Yamataisi was the, the name that you used for everybody. Gotcha, gotcha. Ah. Dead end. Ah, yeah. That's okay. We were trying to level up a little bit, but... Oh, ooh, that's not good. Three slimes. It's interesting in this game, too, because you attack a group of enemies. You don't attack a single enemy. That's your nickname on the whole internet? Yeah, Squirrels is mine, too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Okay, we need to, we need to heal. I like- I do like that there's no active time, though, in these- in these classic RPGs. There we go. I'm glad we picked up those extra herbs from, uh, the basement before we left the house. I'm glad I knew to look. But actually, my- Tony, nice to meet you- Hey, nice to meet you! My- uh, my actual first name is John, actually. So, nice to meet you, Tony. I'll try to stick to Yama. For, for the sake of online internet speak. Ah, there we go, level three. Every time I use an herb, we get to the next level. Ooh, I learned a uh, fire level one. I learned fire level one, which is what we wanted. Oh, dang it. Which is what we really wanted anyway. Doesn't know any magic that can be used out of battle. Dang, it doesn't even it doesn't even tell me. It doesn't even show me the magic that he's learned, even if I can't use it out of battle. That's how old this game is. Oh yeah. Perfect. Hey, <laughs> monkeys. Good morning, good morning. Thanks for the happy birthday wishes. Appreciate it, man. How you doing today? Searches the area. Sunny Springs. Search the soul. Okay, let's go to item. We have the flask. Use the flask. Get the spirit water. Sweet deal. All right, now let's go rescue Annie. So, of course, as I've mentioned, everyone, like, the plan is to do the 12-hour stream on Friday, but I figured, since today is my actual birthday and I'm still streaming today, my normal time, I'd change things up, we play a different game. This is certainly not a popular game, I might as well, I might even be the only person on all of Twitch right now playing this game. <laughs> you are familiar with this game, monkeys. Wow. Wow, yeah, so this game was the first, to my knowledge, this game was the first RPG... JRPG that came out on um, on PlayStation, the original PlayStation, to my knowledge. Um, this was the first ever JRPG I played, um, like as a kid, first ever for me. Uh, I loved it. My dad played most of it, if I'm honest. Uh, we never beat it because we got to a spot where we actually got stuck. Um, should I use an herb? Yeah, I have plenty of herbs. Let me use let me use an herb. I'm aware of it, but my knowledge of it is practically non-existent. No, fair enough. Um, so we never beat it. We got to a spot where we got stuck, and this is, of course, before online walkthroughs existed. And this game was definitely not popular enough to warrant itself its own strategy guide. Um, at least not that I know of. So we got to a spot, we got stuck, and then we never beat it. Um, to this day, I've still never beaten this game. <laughs> um... Neither has my dad. Um, so maybe I'll continue this walkthrough after, or continue this playthrough after today. I think I will. 
Uh, given this was my first ever JRPG, it does hold a special place in my heart. But this, uh, yeah, so 22 years ago, 22 years ago, um, on my 10th birthday, or, yeah, on my 10th birthday, I got this game with, uh, PlayStation. Back in 1997. This game came out in 96, but I know for a fact that I got a PlayStation on my 10th birthday. So I would have gotten the PlayStation in 1997. Which would mean that I got this a year after it came out. Alright, we've got six health still. Alright, so there's a pathway this way. So let's check this out. Looks like it goes nowhere. Yeah. Searches the area, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, that's what I thought. But I wanted to double check. Alright, let's go rescue our uh, stepsister of sorts, Annie. Not really stepsister, but I guess, uh, kind of foster sister. And I do have, for anybody curious, you know, just like I play all of my other RPGs, I do have a, a walkthrough from game FAQs up on my laptop right now. I'm not using it. I'm trying not to use it for as long as I can. Uh, ah, now nah, we'll wait to use the herb till we get into battle. All right, I think there's a yeah. I still remember this. Wow, there's a treasure chest right here. Super cool game. I would have loved it if I got a 1997. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it so far. So what's interesting though is if you look at every single review online. For the most part, for the most part, they all agree that this is kind of a lackluster JRPG, a lackluster game for the genre that it's in. Um, super interesting concept, or super interesting that it is. But hmm. all right, time to use time to use an herb. Um, yeah, there's nothing overwhelmingly positive about it. Nothing overwhelmingly amazing about it. There are nothing overwhelmingly horrible about it either, though, so it's, well, it's kind of underwhelming, or just whelming, if you will. <laughs> um, Counterattack? Yeah. It may be lackluster, but it has a unique battle system camera pan, which I like. I do like the camera pan. It gets annoying, though, when you're, like, battling a boss, because the camera will, like, sit, and sit behind a boss, like, for an obscene amount of time sometimes, and it's kind of annoying. But, uh, but it's super interesting, especially given the, the generation that this game came out. Nice counterattack, squirrels. Oh. Do you guys remember, like, playing the old school Pokemon games, like Pokemon Red and Blue? And, like, being told, like, I don't know how true it really was, but if you spammed A during an attack, then you had a higher chance of getting a critical hit. Do you guys ever remember doing that? Playing the original Pokemon games? Well, I feel like that this game reminds me of that, because... Um, I feel like this reminds me of that because I'm spamming X, because if you hit X at the perfect time then you have a chance of getting some bonus attack. I love these kinds of games. Another of my favorite that's also kind of lackluster is Alundra. Super beautiful game and amazing music. Oh, okay. Let's be real, it reminds you of the Moon Cave. <laughs> it does remind me of the Moon Cave. Oh, let's be real. <laughs> Mount Moon. Oh, leveled up. Sweet. Oh, I just re I just remembered too. Like I got, I have magic. I have a fire spell that I can do. We only have three MP though, so we should definitely sa eek. We should definitely save it for this boss. Squirrels, that's her. Something must have happened. Let's hurry up and find her. Oh, there she is. Game is life. Good morning. How the heck are you? Hopefully you're doing well, man. Uh, sorry, I've 
I've not been around more. Uh, we just moved houses. Oh, you just moved houses. Oh, that's interesting. Congrats, man. Hopefully the move is going well for you and the fam. Um, <laughs> and thank you for the happy birthday as well. Um, which, by the way, um, just as a reminder, just as a reminder, uh, this Saturday or this Friday is the 12 hour stream to actually celebrate my birthday. Today is just a normal stream time and I'm playing the oldest RPG that, that I'm aware of um, in, in my life anyway. And yes, I see monkeys that you're that you're quoting right there. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? <laughs> Annie's in trouble. Squirrels, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to try to get her. Duh. Smack. Release the Kraken. Or, sorry, Kraken, release the Annie. Because this is a Kraken. Help! Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I remember that too. Steiner, please help me. Just hang on, Annie, I'll save you. I I can no longer Stein, I know I know like FF9 yeah I didn't name the dragon the dragon was already named Steiner technically before Final Fantasy 9 was even probably being worked on squirrels we have got to do something there must be a way to rescue her <laughs> rusty please <laughs> If I could rename the dragon, I would rename him Rusty. But I cannot. Oh wait, we're supposed to use the, uh... Not the Source of Wisdom, the Flask. Use. Squirrels pour some of the spirit water into the swamp. So this game does is not... It does not hold your hand for things like that. Like, in this case, it's kind of obvious. We just got the spirit water, and she's gone, and whatever, but it's not obvious at the same time that we should have tried to use the flask to pour it into the lake. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? It's no use. We have, tr we have to try something else. Pours a couple drops of spirit water into Annie's mouth. And she's glowing. Um, cough. Uh, cough. I love how fast the text appears. Gives Annie literally half a second to react to wake up. I, I intentionally made the text go that fast. You have slow, like medium and fast. Um, and I made it fast just so I don't have to constantly click X to get it to hurry and scroll. Before he loses hope. The Kraken dragged me under. I don't even want to think about it. Annie, I'm so relieved. You sound all right. Squirrels, let's go. We shouldn't stay here too long. Let's go. I'm scared. I can't walk alone. Take me with you, okay? Annie joins the party. All right, let's prep. Status. Annie, she's a level one clerk. Um, she's got some MP, which is sweet. She doesn't know any spells yet at all, though. He knows level 1 fire. I thought we were going to have to battle the Kraken, but apparently not. Let's change formation. Let's put Annie in the back row. Squirrels is already in two, which is what we want. No, 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 no. That's what we wanted. Yep, okay. All right, here we go. And now we just need to head back. Maybe level up Annie a bit. Alright. But Annie doesn't know anything, so... Annie doesn't know any magic, anyway. I think she learns, like, heal level 1 or something at level 2 or 3. 
I don't remember. But we need to get we need to get Andy to level up once or twice before we head all the way back to the village. That would be the preferred scenario here. Oh, dang it. Wrong way. At least Aerith was useful. Andy, you're terrible, right? <laughs> yeah, Aerith, as soon as you got her, she already knew some heal or some... Or she, well, she could use the, um... She could use Materia right out the gate, at least. So that she could heal. Not the way this game works. Alright, Squirrels is, like, destroying everything right now. Which is good. But we need Annie to level up, so... Alright, she might level up this fight. Nice, we triggered a, a bonus there. A power attack with Steiner. Look at that, one health when she hits. And I'm pretty sure she stays pretty weak, like, the entire game, if, I'm, if, I, don't, if I remember correctly. Um, but she gains value in her heal capabilities as a cleric. Oh, she's... Alright, she's automatically using herbs. Really? Okay. I hope she didn't waste an herb. I don't know. She is a cleric, so whatever. Oh, look, we triggered a power attack. She hit for 2 HP. Alright. Level 2. Does she learn anything? Nope. She didn't learn anything. Dang it. That's annoying. Did she actually use one of our herbs? I think she might have. I don't know. Oh, she has her own. That's right. Each character has their own inventory. I forgot. That's right. So what we need to do is we need to give all of the herbs that we have to Annie. And it's such a stupidly long, annoying process to do that too. Give Annie. We're gonna give her the antidotes too. I'm glad I just noticed. No, don't use it. Give it Annie. We just need to make sure that she's equipped, like she has enough inventory to sustain us in battles, basically. This is such a super annoying process. All right, we'll, we'll leave it alone at that for now. All right, let's try to get, well, I was gonna say let's try to get into another fight or two, but she's not gonna level up for at least another four or five fights. Because I'd love for her to get to level three. I think level three is when she learns heal level one. It's interesting that like, I've still never beaten this game, but I've probably come back to try to play this game and try to beat it more than any other past JRPG that I've played in my life. Even Final Fantasy IX. Like, I really enjoy Final Fantasy IX, and I mark it as one of my favorite games. Um, but Beyond the Beyond, I've come back to so many times, and I think I just kind of keep forgetting this exists. But now that I'm playing it on a stream, if I continue this playthrough, I think, uh, I, think I now have motivation to actually beat this sucker. We'll probably only play it, like, one, once or twice a week, though. We've obviously got to prioritize Final Fantasy VII. Let's see if we can get... In. I think this is the end of the cave, so let's try to get into another fight or two right here. I mean, we could be casting fire to, like, destroy these guys. I don't remember how much magic points, how much MP fire uses. Maybe we'll use fire real quick. I love how he's classified, the main character, Squirrels, is classified as a swordsman, but he, um... Oh, what's tactics? I have no idea what this is. Uh, I might have to read into that. 2 MP, and it's level 1 fire. Let's... Do it on those guys? Will it do it on both? Nope, it only do it on one. That was unfortunate. I should have done it on the rabbit. Yeah. 
And he reaches level three. There we go. Let's see. Does she learn heal? Does she learn heal? She didn't. She still didn't stink and learn heal. All right, we're leaving. Done. We're both at level three. We're leaving. Oh, squirrels. It's getting dark. We should try to hurry back home. Okay. Yeah, that's the plan. Relax, Steiner. Man. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. Squirrels, we should return home as soon as possible. Didn't we just have this conversation, Steiner? Um, the other annoying thing, I think I mentioned it when we got in the world map earlier, is you can't save anywhere in this game except at a church. Super annoying. Uh, wait till you hit the exit before saying you should go home. Yeah, right? <laughs> Squirrels gave the spirit water to Sir Galahad. Well done, Squirrels. As promised, I will take you to the castle as a reward. She's like, let me sneak upstairs. Annie, come over here. Yes, Mother. Gosh, you are such a brat. Spoiled child. Well, uh, I mean, who's, who's making her spoiled? I'm pretty sure the only one that raises her is you guys. Annie, I told you not to go to the Cave of Spirits. Why don't you ever listen to us? We only want what's best for you. You will be the death of me yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad, but I wanted to help squirrels. This time nothing happened, but what are you... But how do you think we'll feel if something happens to you? What if you got sucked under by a kraken or something? <laughs> Oh, I remember what when she gets her first spells. I just I just remembered a, a key plot point. See, I remember this game like better than most Final Fantasy games, which is weird. Dad, is something wrong? I thought I heard something. Never mind. Yeah, did they leave the door open? Whoa, whoa, what happened? My dear, what's wrong? Can't you guys hear it? Someone is screaming. Ah, I do remember this part as well. D at my, um. I love that synchronized moving to the door. Oh, it's Percy. Percy. Brother. Oh, another foster child. Uh, well, biological brother to Annie, but... Go home, Percy. <laughs> Dad, Mom, I'm so glad to see you at last. Ugh. I don't remember if Percy becomes a party member or not. Percy, what happened? Ban door troops, so unfair. Uh, uh. They... Marion Castle... Stop, Percy. Say no more. Percy is alright, isn't he? Answer me, darling. Tell me Percy is alright. He does. Yeah. Is Go Home Percy a reference to something? Because I don't get that reference. How, how terrible. No, I can't believe it. I got the Annie Are You Okay reference. I got that one. In fact, now it's stuck in my head. Even with this glaring soundtrack right now. Please don't be sad. Forever remember the brother you once had. Uh, I just don't like the name because of Percy Jackson. Oh, okay. <laughs> no! Percy! No! There it is. Look at what's happening. Oh my goodness, she's magical. I won't let her die! I love this music. What are you? Annie, why? He's floating. Zzz, and now he's asleep. He is sleeping as if nothing ever happened. Suddenly, his wound is gone. Can it be? Is he healed? The light is gone. It did... Oh, oh. And he uses Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> it's not Leviosa. It's Leviosa. 
Squirrels, answer me. What happened in the Cave of Spirits? Well, you see, she almost died, and then I saved her, but kind of, and now she's asleep, so, yep. Mm -hmm. Let's leave the questions for later. Sir Galahad checks Annie. First, help me take these two into the house. They pick up the lighter of the two, and he uses his dragon as help. Oh, okay, there we go. The next morning. So much dialogue in JRPGs is ridiculous. I mean, it's good, like it's plot development, but still. My friend Kevin's probably foresaw the coming danger to Marion and sent you here. Uh, Lord Kevin's told me to give you a message. Now that I think about it, that's why he sent me. I was surprised to see you lying there. You were supposed to be a Marion. I was rather surprised myself. I can't believe Annie had such power within her. Rather than saying had, we should say has. My guess is that the swamp poison and the spirit water somehow created a magical force. Seeing Percy on the verge of death, the force within Annie's body was released. What a miracle. Dad. So basically, he's saying it was a good thing that she accidentally almost died in a cave. Hmm. Yes, we should talk about plans. Percy and Squirrels, you guys have already decided, right? If I don't return, then I will be called a coward. I would rather die than be called a coward. Moreover, I'm sure Squirrels is concerned about his father. Don't say anything and let him go as well. I love how they always walk in place. <laughs> no, Dad, don't let him. If Marion Castle is in trouble, then it's too late now. Dad, I beg you to reconsider. Why? Why? Listen, Annie, for a man there are times when he just has to act. If I don't allow him to go, I will never forgive myself. Annie, please understand. I'm expecting a party-wide Harlem shake at any moment, right? Pretty much. Uh, you must go now. It might be too late, but there's still hope. Hurry. Yo, we could use Annie's healing. We could use Annie. Let's bring Annie. Since they know my face, you lead the way, okay? Percy joins the party. I'm going to lead the way. I've never been to the castle, though, before. Okay. Sure. If you say so. Wait, squirrels! Let me go with you. I'm not being selfish. I just want to help you. Annie! I'm sorry, Mother. I want to use my new power to help them. My dear. Can I? Dad, can I? Dad, I'm begging you! I love how just everyone in the grandma joins the party without valid reason. <laughs> right? Pretty much. <laughs> no, they have a valid reason. Percy is the one that's an actual soldier. Squirrels is concerned about his dad, who is like the lead soldier, and Annie ha is our healer. And Steiner's a flippin' dragon. <laughs> Annie joins the party. They have plenty of valid reason, at least for a JRPG. Even though Annie has never ventured outside of the town on her own until that one accident where she almost died, that what that's what happened to accidentally give her powers. And she probably has no idea how to actually use her powers, even though every single battle she's going to be able to use heal no problem. So yeah, no, it's completely realistic. <laughs> Man, I'm scared now. <laughs> Just put my PC back together. Oh, nice. After failing on me yesterday, barely uh, dare to try it now. Oh, dang. Hopefully it works, man. Knock on wood. Hopefully your PC works. Good luck trying it. Searches the area. Out of the, Nothing out of the area. Okay. And nothing out of the ordinary. So let's tech... Uh, prepare, let's do formations here. Uh, Percy's at one, Squirrels is at two, and Annie's at four, which is what I wanted. Okay, let's go status here. Actually, let's go tactics. 
one. We're gonna do... Let's do, like... I don't know, man. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta read the tactics. I gotta read up on the tactics. Percy doesn't know any spells. He knows fire, and now she knows heal level one. Uh, he is currently level one, so we're gonna have to level him up, but at least he's got a decent amount of HP. Alright. Uh, must be an Eidolon extraction thing going on there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, so I think the castle is just, like, due north. Yeah, there's the castle. Okay, we're just gonna walk straight to the castle. Can we get in fights out here? Let's get in a fight. There we go. Let's try to, let's try to get some levels out of Percy. Nice. Triggered a nice little charge there. She actually did, like, 5 HP of damage. Not too shabby. Would, Percy hasn't even attacked yet. All right, come on, Percy. We need, we need you to level up to at least two or three. I mean, we're literally going to the castle because it's under attack. That just makes me feel like we should be prepared in levels. Got ambushed. We didn't get ambushed. We're attacking first. There was no ambush. Calm down. Nice. Nice, a double charge attack. Sweet, sweet, I'll take it. Alright, there we go. Percy reaches level 2. I'll take it. Oh, and we got a couple herbs. Awesome. We're gonna wanna... Well, we'll keep the herbs on the individual persons for now. Let's go. Alright, here we go. So we still haven't saved. We still have not saved. We need to find... Alright, here's an inn. We need to find a church, though. You save at churches in this game. We'll go to the shop here in a hot minute. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Oh, that's the church right there. Okay, let's go to the items and weapons shop first, then. So this side's weapons, probably. Oh, they've confiscated the weapons. Oh, okay, or well, they haven't. Alright, so... I don't have a ton of cash. Yeah, I do not have a ton of cash, so... Uh, we can repair items, too. Oh, I forgot about that. The whole concept of having to repair our stuff. Ugh. All right, let's see what items we can buy. I love how it just says, Percy has an herb. Squirrels has an herb. Annie has an herb. Like, I don't know how many herbs, but they have them. And then the healing herb does a little bit more, but that's 100. That's 100 bucks. 100 gold. Antidotes. We've got a few. Cure herbs. I don't know what those do. Let's grab a couple more herbs. Who should I give it to? Okay. I mean, we've got some herbs. Screw it. We'll, let's just grab it. We'll, we'll, we'll be done. We'll, we'll, let's save our gold. Let's save our gold. Let's go save. Talk. Welcome. How can I, a servant of Aron, help you today? Save the game. Book of Journeys. Yes. Alright, so we're going to save it on... <laughs> Card one or card two, folks? Let's save it on card two on slot one. Servant of Aron. <laughs> Wrong Aron. Do you wish to continue your journey? Yes, we do wish to continue. All right, let's... Um, how's our healths? I think our healths are fine. Yeah, we don't need to, we don't need to stay there. Um, so we could talk to a million people or whatnot. I mean, see, I'm not like, I don't want to talk to like people that don't matter. Oh, I remember this. Oh my gosh. I remember this now. Yeah. No. Searches the floor. Nothing out of the ordinary, except that there's like a trap door looking thing underneath this table. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's come over here. It's a good thing I remember this part of the game, because I think I'm about to have to remember what I remember. So this is the castle. We're going to try to get in. No one may enter. We have to guard the Prince of Marion until his time of execution. So we're trying to execute the Prince, which is lovely, right? So nobody's allowed in the castle. I could search places, but whatever. So I got to get in the castle somehow. Imagine having to remember what you remember. I know, man, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> when I said that, I was like, uh, that just sounded weird. Uh, but I think you guys know what I mean. 
I'm going to have to remember more thoroughly what I think I might remember <laughs> from time of old. We need to get in the castle somehow. And if we talk to certain people, I think, like, if I talk to certain people. Marion used to be a small and quiet kingdom, but now because of bit All right, no. Let's see. Uh, I worry about the prince. Oh, something about Sir Samson. Um, and this is a cemetery over here, but if I go over to this building over here, is it this guy that tells me something? I still can't believe... No, it's not. You should... You sound almost as poetic as Pinocchio in Shrek when he's being interrogated, trying not to lie. <laughs> uh, is it this person? No, it's not. Oh, wait. Yes, that was it. All right, so this person says, During the last Bandor invasion, the King of Marion had an escape tunnel dug from the castle to this town. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we know that there's some kind of trap door under here, but when I try to search it, nothing. Hmm. Come, come on. Engraved, here lies Darren. Here lies Tobin. Oops. Alright, I don't think it's there. I think it's... I think it might be this one. Nothing out of the ordinary? Wait, what? Same as a tombstone, nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary. Alright, the front ones all had names on them, though. Do I not need to examine them? Maybe I need to talk to somebody. Well, let's, let's examine each one first. See, and that's where, like, this game doesn't really help you. Like, you've really... Oh, I found something. I don't know what I just found, but... I didn't... I missed that. Ring of Defense. Nice. Okay, we'll equip that in a minute. Nothing out of the order. Okay, so I examined every single tombstone here, and there's nothing. So I have to talk to somebody. I think. So this person... Uh, Samson fought bravely, blah, blah, blah. Hey, who's in there? Ah, there we go. This is the lieutenant's house. Okay, there we go. This had to happen. Okay. Hey, you answer me. Wait, you're... Speaking of Samson. Bam, he done. He didn't just die, he disintegrated. He no longer exists. Ha, you found me. How unfortunate for you. Legendary Warrior Park. You, you, you're their hero, Samson. They're like, they want to guard him, but from a distance. Or they want to like, surround him, right? Hey guys, do you want to fight or dance? I feel like the German accent, like Schwarzenegger works. Well, we can't fight when you're all the way over there. Enough of this nonsense. Smack. And you're disintegrated. And then he runs into the... And then he runs into the, uh... Yep. The graveyard. Samson ran into the graveyard. Get him. Surround him. Okay. Here we go. So he definitely came out from this thing. There's something under the desk. Oh, look, there's a thing, and they're all searching the graveyard. Let's go under here. Oh, look, there's a switch. Do I want to flip it? Yeah, let's flip this. What's funny to me is we're going to come out here and look. Oh, look, the soldiers are all out of the graveyard now. Hmm, we just did something... And the soldiers are gone. They completely missed the fact that we opened up a secret passageway. Alright. I don't know if we get in fights down here or not. Oh, we apparently do. <laughs> I should have saved first. Oh well. So wouldn't it be cool if this, this awesomely strong Samson guy joined our party at some point as the tank? Those soldiers are as smart as the Power Ranger parties. <laughs> yes. Right? Absolutely. The 
putty patrol. Man, I love that. What? He's asleep? Who's asleep? How is she asleep? How'd she flip and fall asleep during a battle with two bats? Hopefully she woke up. Oh, in another fight. Badly made JRPGs are an actual gold mine. <laughs> Agreed. Beautiful. I just hate the fact that I have to, like, truly pay attention to their HP at the top, or their VP as it's called in this game. Because there's, it doesn't show you max. You have to be paying attention to how much damage the, de the enemies are actually doing to you, so you know whether or not you can survive another attack. Like, you have no idea concept of relative low health. Like Squirrels is now at four, so I should probably heal. And now he's asleep. What the poop. Alright, fight. Nope, she automatically did heal. So I think it has to do with the tactics thing. I think it has to do with tactics. Like, if I do a manual tactic, then I'm going to control everybody. Yeah, right now I'm just doing fight. And because I'm only controlling squirrels, Percy and Annie are doing their own thing. But if I go to tactics and I did manual and did fight, now I control each, and each individual person. I prefer manual. There we go, he woke up. We're good. Dang. How does a bat stay and put you to sleep? That's so annoying. Steiner, Aron, Tactics. This game made Final Fantasy what it is. <laughs> right? Percy's level 3. Actually, I, I want to say Final Fantasy Tactics. I don't know, when. when do you think Final Fantasy Tactics came out? Final Fantasy Tactics might be before this one. Dang, they got some herbs, they got some levels. Annie learned Cure. Uh, what are their... Okay, we're good. Oh, now we gotta move this. Look, the stone is blocking our path. If we all push together, we might be able to move the rock. If not... I'm not sure if we can do it, but do you want to try it? Yeah, I want to try. One, two, seventeen. Push! All right, we got it, y'all. We got it. Well done. Now let's hurry on our way. I love how Steiner directed that entire thing. I think 97 and 98 for USA. Okay, so, so yeah, Tactics did come out after this. Did, did Tactics come out before or after Final Fantasy VII? Because if it came out after seven, then yeah, 97, 98 probably sounds right. Um, okay, let's keep going. No, go. Move, go. We should catch up with Sir Samson soon. FF7 was early 97. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like January or something in 97. Yeah. It looks as if this is the only way we could he could have gone. Well, there's like a door on the right. I mean, like, I can see that. Who dares follow me? Oh, it's Samson. Sir Samson, it is me, Percy. Percy, I heard you fled to Isla Village. Yes, Lord Kevin sent me to inform my father of what had happened. You returned without Sir Galahad? My father had to stay and protect Isla Village. He didn't say that. He just didn't want to come. Hmm, it seems that I'm on my own then. By the way, Percy, who are your friends? This is my sister, Annie. Longest introductions ever. And this is Squirrels, Lord Kevin's son. Huh? Sir Samson, Samson, is something wrong? No, nothing. A 
flower girl from the slums a failed specimen. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Oh yes, squirrels, I remember now. It's been a while. Sir Samson, squirrels is looking for his father. Huh? Oh, we'll have plenty of time for that later. Right now, I have a more immediate task. I have to sneak into the castle and rescue Prince Edward before his execution. Oh my gosh. I hate it when, like, my buttons stick. <laughs> we all would. Uh, the prince must be saved. Such brave youngsters. I could use someone watching my back. Very well then. Please follow me. Wow, he just straight up taking some kids. No hesitation. All right, so we're in a thing. All right, we now have Samson. Let's do a formation setting right here. Uh, Samson is in three. Perfect. And he's the only one in the back row. Beautiful, beautiful. Those lights. <laughs> the graphics. Yeah, right? Um, all right, status. Samson is at level 15, so he's pretty tough. He's pretty tough. Now let's go. Oh look, there he is. Who are you? Oh, you're with Sir Samson. You must be here to save me. Hurry up and open the gate. Yeah, we we gotta get we gotta we 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 got we, 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 we gotta get some keys, bro. We gotta get some keys. The key to the cells must be in this room. Let's take them by surprise. One, two, three. What? How did you get in here? You will not be allowed to save the prince. Alarm! Prison break! They're trying to free Prince Edward! And he's just gonna kill everybody. We're gonna try to help, but it's not gonna really matter. Samson's like, oh, hmm, that kind of tickles. I'm also trying to remember if when you equip stuff in the game, if it shows up on your avatar in battle. I don't think it does, though. Percy's at level four. Awesome. We got the prison key. You will never leave this prison alive. Okay, that's unfortunate. All right, let's search everything out here just to see if there's anything. Oh, there's water inside the vase. Okay, it's empty. Searches, nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary. Can I take any of these swords or anything off the walls? No, okay, let's keep going. All right, let's go, oops, no. Easiest key ever. Even Mario d did it better for someone who being kidnapped on a daily basis, right? Search the area, nothing else. Okay, we need to use the stinking key, man. Uh, Percy has the key, apparently. Use. Squirrels tries the prison key, the gate opens. Bam. And Samson just pushes Squirrels out of the way. Prince Edward, are you alright? I'm fine, thank you, Sir Samson. I was so scared, I thought I was dead for sure, but... I knew I had to find some way to save Marion. You're a strong young man. You'll make a very good king one day. I'll, I'll personally make sure that happens. Sir Samson, we should hurry, but where do we go now? Uh, back through the secret passageway? Duh. Y'all, come on. We can't be that dumb. We should go to Zalagoon. I am sure the king of Zalagoon will help us. Oh, they mean after the secret passageway. Gotcha. Queen Scarlet of Zalagoon is my aunt. I'm sure she'll help Marion. Edward joins the party. I'll take up the rear. You go first, okay? All right, fine, sounds good. All right, let's see how oh, Edward is. Status. So Edward is level one, but he's a magician. So that's cool. He's a king who happens to know magic because he 
probably has a magic glass. You! Stop right there! What Bandor fool dares try to interfere with us? Ha ha ha, it is I, Ramu. <laughs> I will not let you take the prince so easily. Imagine being a kid... Imagine being a kid not leaving her town all her life, and within 20 minutes she's calling... She's chilling with a legendary warrior and a prince, right? I don't care who you are. You are no competition for Samson, the strongest man in Marion. Samson, show her how strong you are. Yes, my prince. Ha, ha. So you are the infamous Samson, huh? I would like to see the Marion's strongest man in action. Men, finish him. What? Ha! Ha! Curse Mac. Good job, Samson. And then... Quick reflexes there. Dodging lightning, literally. <laughs> you are pretty strong. Well, how about this? Ramu throws a curse shawl. Yo, he dodged, and it could have hit, like, Percy. Yeah, I remember all of this. Because it's super annoying. Do that 197 more times, Samson. I need the, <laughs> I need the Venus Vigil. <laughs> you are a brave man, Samson, and you are also proud. I will allow you to take Prince Edward. I want to see how far the mighty Samson can get when he is cursed. <laughs> I should have added a reverb to that. Hang on, hang on. Let me see something. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's a flanger. Oh, wait, analog delay? <laughs> there we go. Let's see how far you can run. Use this opportunity wisely. The next time we meet, I will not be as merciful. Ramu's magic is very strong. Sir Samson, are you alright? Hmm. Uh, don't worry about me. We better hurry and find a way out. Alright, so... Now you can see Samson is purple in the top. He will remain purple for pretty much the vast majority of the rest of the main parts of the game. <laughs> um, which, spoiler alert, that means we essentially don't get a cure for him for a little while. But the game came out in 1997, so... 1996, so I'm pretty sure that's not a spoiler anymore. Um, but now, Samson is level 1, as you can see. So we gotta level him up. So basically, he went from being absolutely amazing to being absolutely horrible. Yeah. He's not actually horrible. He's still pretty tough, but he's like one of us now. And now he needs us more than we need him. Squirrels, wait. We should split into two groups. Ah, oh, I knew that. I should have taken the stuff off of his inventory. Dang it. You fought well, but it's too dangerous for us to travel together. We'll surely get caught. It will be easier for two small groups to escape. There's an escape tunnel in this passage that leads outside. Here, I'll show you. Split into two groups with one exit. Yes, right? There, There's an exit right there. Technically, there's two exits. Ish. Use this escape tunnel. You will find your way out without getting caught. We'll be waiting at the border church to the east. We'll meet there. After we get help from Zal Zalagoon, we can look for Lord Kevin's. If we're not at the church, show this to the pastor. Percy receives the royal pendant. And the only reason, just so you know, the only reason Percy's getting all the items is because uh, he's the one in the first position. So I actually kind of want to switch him out. For, so formation, we'll put Percy in spot two and Squirrels in spot one. That way Squirrels starts taking all the extra items. Casually takes the prince, leaves the kids in danger. <laughs> well, for the record, the prince is a kid too, right? So. Alright, uh, Percy... Ring of Defense raises defense to 12. So let's take a look at their stats real quick. 
So Squirrels has the highest defense right now at level 5. I should probably raise the defense of Annie or Percy. Let me just give it to Percy. He's already, he's already carrying it, so we'll just go ahead and equip it. There we go. Alright, we equipped it. Cool. I hate that it always takes us out of the main menu, though. It's super annoying. We got the Source of Wisdom. We want to give the Source of Wisdom probably to, to Edward, to Prince Edward, Edward when we get him back. Alright, so let's head east. or whatever they're called up here. Kobold. Oh, one of them ran away. Good for you. Let's see if we can kill this one before it runs away. Not with Annie, we're not going to kill it. That's for sure. There we go. We might do it with this one. Oh, never mind. Bam. to the church. Alright, um... Talk. Welcome! How can I be a servant today? Alright, so we're gonna... We can resurrect people at the churches too, or we can cure everybody, so... No one needs to be cured. So a cure is like if you're, like, poisoned. But Samson is cursed. So that's the difference here. Um... Actually, you know what? We're just gonna save. Like, regular old save game. Book of Journeys, yes. We'll save there. Yes. Alright, yes, we want to continue our journey. Curist. Curist. Yes, Curist. Curist. He's Curist. Aron is guiding you always. Come back anytime. Alright, now we want to show the item to the pasture dude. The royal pendant. Use. Shows it to the pasture. Are you Percy? Yes, I thought so. Actually, I'm Squirrels, dude, but hey, whatever. Oh, this part. Oh, this part. Okay. Prince Edward and Sir Samson have been waiting for you. Please go right ahead. I think I remember this part. You're late, Squirrels. Am I, how the stick am I late? We went straight here. And you didn't... Mm, and they had to go through the town. That doesn't make any sense. The book Ancient Marion that I took from Marion Castle tells how to get out of here. However, I can't figure out the riddle. It says you must crown Venus. Monkeys, what were you saying about Venus Vigil? <laughs> You must crown Venus's brow with a laurel and tiara. Hmm. But I think this is about right, but now what are we supposed to do? It also says, when she smiles upon the world, you shall be one step closer to Aron. What could that mean? FF10 reference to dodging lightning. Yes, I know, I just think it's funny that, um that now we're talking about Venus in this game. Like, every single thing in future Final Fantasy games is found in this game. You are, only, uh, you are our only hope now. Can you solve the riddle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is annoying. We're gonna come up here and then the thing gets flipped and switched up. It's so coincidental. So coincidental. Alright, so... I remember this distinctly. Um, and it's just a puzzle. Um, I think... It is literally just a puzzle. Um, so this thing has got to go up there, but this has got to go to the right side. This has got to go down. So let's do this. So that's there now. That's up there. This has got to come up there. Mm, annoying. How do I want to do this? Do it like this. I want to 
get that back there again. I want to get this, uh, but I need that mix. Dang it. Super annoying. I think this might actually go here. Hmm. Oh no, are those the top pieces? Oh, all three of the bottom pieces are the top pieces right now. So they gotta all go up there. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Uh, puzzles. Yay to puzzles. Let's see if I can get this top piece up there. Dang it, too far. Hang on. Nope, nope, stop. Like that, and then that thing has got to go down here. Ugh, so annoying. This has got to go up. That's got to go there. Yeah, these puzzles are so much easier when they're like in your hands. Just saying. Okay. Ugh. Okay, we want that. Hang on. Nope. That's not what I want to do. Okay, there's that. But then the flowing hair needs to be like down there. Man, I hate these puzzles. Super annoying. It's just a stinking puzzle. This is going to take up the rest of the stream this morning, watch. Okay. This piece on the right needs to go to the top right. It needs to go to the top right. And this, but this one needs to go to the bottom left. Top right. needs to be anyone else good at these I know exactly where these pieces need to go the top two are in the right spots the crown needs to go in the top middle and then these need to be in the bottom this one needs to be in the bottom left right here Dang it. So annoying. I'm just messing it up more. Oh my goodness. Everybody watching this is probably like, oh my gosh, this guy sucks. this here. So those are now in the right spots. Now I just need to swap the, th the three, four middle pieces. I can get this one. See, that's where that needs to go. Oh wait, here we go. Bam, we got it. Whew. Okay. Oh, man. That was annoying. Well done, squirrels. Great, now squirrels, why don't you lead the way? Sure. 
because I've been to Zalagoon Castle before. You solved the riddle. If there's anything I can do before you go, let me know. Yeah, you can cure Samson of his stupid curse. That's what you can do. Cure. Nope. Oh, who should I cure? Samson, yes. Samson is cursed. The curse is too powerful for me. Who shall I cure? Yeah, nobody. Okay, fine. Yeah, we want to save. Definitely want to save because that was a stupidly annoying thingy. Oop, no, we do want to save. We, no, we do want to save. I didn't save. Dang it. Save. Yes. This one. Yes. There we go. Man. It's been saved. Yes, I want to continue. All right, come back anytime. All right, here we go. Passageway. Ooh, look, things that we can search. Searches the barrel, it's empty. Searches the barrel, it's empty. Um, let's also change our formation really quick. Formation, squirrels, Percy, Samson, Annie, Edward. All right, we're good. Just want to double check. What about items? Not too bad. Okay. They've got they've got some stuffs. They got some Oh, you know what? Let's look at the status of Edward. His IQ's at two, hers is at one. Does he know any magic? He knows fire. So that's good. His MP is at seven, squirrels is at four. And he's only at level one, so we want to give the wisdom to that guy. Squirrels, source of wisdom use on Edward. His intelligence increased two points. Awesome. Search of the vase, it's empty. Search of the vase. Ooh, got a blizzard card. I don't know what that is, but okay. Blizzard card. You know what? I think it's a I think it's a weapon to use in battle. Dirty water and maggots. That sounds nasty. Okay. All right. Let's go. Oh look, a lever. Push the lever up. Here we go. Over here. I think I saw them. Prince Edward and Samson must have gone this way. Percy. Well, this is just dumb. I should have taken the stuff off of Percy now. Oh my gosh, I'm failing left and right, folks. Percy, what are you doing? No, you're not going to. That's right, Annie. Didn't you hear them? They're getting closer. No, don't. Please don't do it, brother. <clears throat> If I, if I close the gate, you will have enough time to escape. Someone has to do it. They can't, they can take me, but I will never allow them to capture my sister. Or, you know, the prince of Marion. You know, there's that too. Squirrels take care of Annie. Oh, and then sad theme. Percy pulls the lever down. And now to make sure they don't follow you. Schmack breaks off the lever. Dang. That was quite the effort. Now go. Leave before they arrive, and good luck. Really should have removed all the stuff off of Percy's inventory first. In fact, you know what? I think we're about to. I think, I think we're going to do that, actually. Because that's going to be... I'm going to regret that later. Why was I such a fool? A fool. That was a foolish but extremely brave thing to do. Percy, proud son of Galahad, your name will not be forgotten. Shall we go? We shouldn't let Percy's sacrifice be in vain. No, I don't want to go. I want to load a game. You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna skip. So hold tight. Hold tight. 
we're going to reload and take everything off of uh, off of that guy. Edward looks like M. Bison from Street Fighter. Oh, he does kind of look like Bison. The colors of Wario. <laughs> and I can't unsee it. That's funny. That is kind of funny. Come on. At last, you've come. Something terrible is about to happen. I need your help. Okay, continue. Which journey do you wish to continue? This one. Now then, Squirrel, our adventure continues. Okay. So we're doing this because we just lost all of our junk. Search the area. Nope, we just lost all of our stuff off of Percy, which is five herbs and a ring of defense that I just equipped on him. So, yeah. We are going to take some of this stuff, at least this guy. And we're going to... Now, it won't let me unequip this stuff, because he has to keep... Yeah, he has to keep that stuff. But we can give this stuff to someone else, at least. We'll fill up Annie's inventory. Percy, give Annie, such an annoying process, Percy, give Annie, Percy, give Annie, oops, I think she's full, so he can't do that, herb, give, yeah, she's full, so we'll give the other herb, we'll just, we'll give it to Edward, since he's kind of week anyway um and let's check our stats we want to who's at the lowest defense edward as much as i thought um yeah but he's not going to be needing to defend too much so we'll give uh, maybe i don't know let's give the ring of defense Give it to, you know, it's squirrel. Let's just give it to squirrels. Yes, and it's now equipped automatically. Lovely. And then we're going to also use the source of wisdom. Use on Edward. Four points. And I think we're good now. Percy has nothing on him. Beautiful. Let's talk to this guy, and now we'll save. Because that was going to bother the crap out of me later if we if if we just kept going, knowing that I could have just quickly reloaded and taken all that stuff off of him. Now we got to not forget to search all these things. I think the only thing that had anything was over here. Yep, there's the Blizzard card, and I think that was the only thing that had anything. Yeah, pretty sure. I don't think there was anything over here. Yeah. All right. So now we come over here, and then we're going to go through all that dialogue again, but I'll just click through it real quick. Dang it. And here we go. <laughs> so much dialogue. I wonder what Beyond the Beyond speedruns look like. That would be interesting if that even is a thing. I feel like with this being like the first JRPG on the original PlayStation, like there has to be some glitches that we can exploit that I'm just completely unaware of. Just like the, the plot of this is so classic feeling. It's got so many elements that are just so dated, but are so motif, if you will, of the genre. Dude, that's gonna bother me about Edward now. <laughs> I, you're right, like I, I feel like I can't unsee it.
<laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. Let's just double check. We're, we're all good with formation and all that jazz. One, three, four, and five. Works for me. Works for me. I'll take it. Let's search these vases. Empty. Empty. Oh, come on. We're just going to do some basic attacks. We don't want to waste our magic. Oh, one of them ran away. I think eventually we can steal in this game as well. Don't quote me on that, but we're gonna... <clears throat> we'll see. I think eventually we run into somebody that joins our party that might be able to steal. We might have to heal Annie here soon. That's empty, okay. Always search the vases, though. That's what I've learned in this game. Always search the stick. See, there's an herb. Always search the vases, man. All right, now where? I feel like... Oh, uh, I should have just kept going. Stupid step counters. Nice power attack. She's actually doing half-decent damage now. I feel like we should have gone right. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, wait, nope. Doesn't look like there's anything to the right. Never mind. Ooh, what is that? A mold. It's a mold. Beautiful. Double attack, okay. That's still weaker than her, like, big one single attacks, though. Oh, of course, it blocks Edward. Yeah, nice guard. Nice guard. Oh, that's another thing, too, about Samson's Curse. So Samson's Curse, like, randomly, in a, the middle of a battle, he'll just get hurt because of his curse. It'll say, like, he got injured because of curse or something like that. See, right now, I, I'm pretty sure the game is decently linear. Oh, nice. Samson's finally level 2. The game is decently linear, so I don't think I need a guide to, like, tell me where to go. But the, but there are certain spots where you're kind of in a quandary where you're, you're wondering, like, what do I do next? Not necessarily where, to, where do I go, but what do I do? In those instances, I will probably refer to... Well, I will probably... I will definitely refer to the guide in those instances. Oh, crap. Samson's about to die. <clears throat> attack, attack. Annie. Ah, should we use heal? Yeah, let's use heal. Samson. And then Edward can attack. And for heals, go first, which is awesome. Samson can't move, see? That's what it is. It's because of the curse. I said, Samson can't move. Cursed. So, like, he flinches in battle now. He randomly gets himself injured. Alright, that's a dead end, too. So, this one, then? So many fights. So many fights. Nice, Edward's level 3. I'll take it. There we go. Oh, look. A dude. I am Brother Thomas. I was meditating in these caves, and I can't seem to find my way back out. Would you please guide me to the exit? Sure. You're very kind. May Aron guide your destiny. Okay. Well, we don't know where the exit is. <coughs> I think the point, though, is that once we guide him to the exit, he'll... 
be able to uh, help us save. Samson's level four or three. What a peculiar game. Mr. Knee, how are you? Good morning, good morning. How the heck have you been? Happy Wednesday. And yes, this is, uh, this game came out... This game came out, like, what, a year? Or no, a few months. It came out a few months before Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation. To my knowledge, this was one of, if not the first, uh, JRPG to release on the original classic PlayStation. And it was my first time ever uh, getting into the genre at all, actually. So, yeah. So this, this particular game holds a very special place in my heart because of that reason. Sorry about that, buddy. I'm back. I had to deal with family quickly. Oh, you're good, man. You're good. You got, Do what you gotta do. Welcome back, though. But yeah, Mr. Nee, I figured since uh, since today's my birthday, I would just play something that kind of means something to me. I've never streamed this game before. I have come back to this game more than any other role-playing game I've ever played, though, in, across my life growing up. And uh, because of such, I figured I'd come back and play this again. I've never actually beaten it, though. Gotten decently far, but never actually beaten it. Oh my goodness, Samson, you're about to stink and die. Alright, Annie, I need your heals. Heal up Mr. Samson here, he's too stinking weak. I should have given the, uh, I should give the ring of defense to Samson. That's what I should do. Thank you for the happy birthday, Mr. Nee. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, for anyone curious, though, this Friday, we are doing a 12-hour stream. Uh, to celebrate my birthday more thoroughly. So, uh, yeah, it's also the release day of, of, um, of The Outer Worlds, another brand new role-playing game. First-person role-playing game by, oh, who makes that? Who's making it? I don't remember. But, uh, <laughs> same makers that do the Fallout series. Is that Bethesda? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, that comes out on Friday, so we'll be doing 12 hours of that to celebrate my birthday and a year on Twitch as well. So, I'm 21 again. Obsidian, there we go, yeah. Is it Obsidian? Yeah. Obsidian has a Twitch Plays Outer World stream going right now. Oh, nice. It's not going very well. Oh. What's not going very well about it? Is it glitching, or...? I'm really curious because that's, I'm like, I pre-ordered that sucker. I plan on playing it all day on Friday. That's my celebratory stream. Twitch inputs the commands via chat. Interesting. That's weird. Is Does the game look good, though? Does the game look okay? I haven't actually seen any gameplay footage of the Outer Worlds yet. Twitch Plays Pokemon was fun to watch. So is that how the Twitch Plays things work? Hang on. Is that how the Twitch Plays things work? I never watched one. Um, is it? Is that how it is, though? It's based on, um, like, Twitch chat? That's weird. That's super cool, though. That's a really cool concept. So when you say it's not going well, you just mean like the Twitch plays like they're they're not doing great at the game right now because of how they have to play it, because of the nature of the rules. Those Cobalt guys always run away. Usually it's just a mod doing commands and banning anyone who does commands. Gotcha. Interesting. That's a really cool concept. Sounds interesting to watch. I might have to watch the bot later. All right, here we go. Here's the exit. Thank you for guiding me. I will be staying in the inn at the crossroads ahead if you need my assistance. Yeah, sure. No worries, dude. Bye. These graphics remind me of Golden Axe. Mm, not, never played Golden Axe. Never played Golden Axe. But sure, I'll take your word for it. Mistress Ramu. Mm. 
Prince Edward and his party have closed and broken the gate to Zalagoon. It will be it will take a while to fix the gate to follow them. Is that so? Perhaps you lock you lack the motivation to find them quickly enough. Perhaps, knowing that next time your life will be at stake, you will be more motivated. Should I begin the repairs, mistress? No need. Preventing Prince Edward from getting to Zalagoon would be a waste of effort. Yeah, no, I haven't. Golden Axe, dude, what a good game, along with Altered, Altered Best? The graphics remind me of Mark's too. Hmm. hmm. No, so, like, I haven't legitimately played, like, a large number of, of this genre. And, and most of this genre for me is limited to Beyond the Beyond, for the Final Fantasy games, and uh, Star Ocean, A Second Story, which, that's a really fun game, too, with, like, over, over 80 different endings. Even if they make it to Zalagoon, they will not get any assistance there. Alright, so that's the crossroads up ahead, so we're gonna save here. I think this is the crossroads up ahead. Yeah, this is it. Okay. We oh here's an inn too. Yeah, let's talk. Welcome to my inn. 40 bucks. Okay, sure. Kind of expensive, but whatever. Genesis games are priceless, so I never owned a, a Genesis. I had, I had a, an original Nintendo. We had an Atari first, but then we had an original Nintendo, and we did not have Super Nintendo. We didn't have Sega Genesis. Uh, we went straight from regular Nintendo to PlayStation, and then eventually my uh, my sister wanted like an Xbox, so we got an Xbox, like the original Xbox. So we got one of those eventually, and then I got a PS2 that I bought with, like, my own money. Um, and then that, like, PS2 was, like, the last console I ever bought for gaming. We got, like, a Wii when I got married. But we got that primarily for Netflix more than anything else. I spent hundreds of hours on Streets of Rage, Toe Jam, and... Toe Jam and Earl and Mega Bomberman. Oh, Mega Bomberman. I mean, like, I played games, like, in other people's houses, but, like, I didn't own those consoles. Gladly be of service save game yes so i don't know how far we're going to be able to get before the next save point but i'm going to try toe jam and earl mm-hmm i do remember that game all right can we look down here peeks into the well it's filled with clear water okay all right so we're gonna leave we're trying, again, we're trying to continue on to Zalagoon. There's a cave right there, and then there's a way over here. I don't remember if we need to go through the cave, or... Ooh. Ooh. This tree. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna have to refer to the guide, because I don't remember if we want to do this tree now, or if we want to wait and do this tree later. Because if you do the tree now versus later, different things happen. Underground tunnel. Mountain. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Walk east, exit the cave. As soon as you exit the cave, you'll be able to view a dialogue sequence. It's taking place in Border Church. Blah, blah, blah. For this Percy, etc. Okay, walk north. Stand in front, two bushes, blah, 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 etc. If you want, you can go north from Mountain Cottage and into the Dragon Cave. Okay, so the cave that we saw is not the cave we wanted to go to. We want to go here, I think. Uh, yeah, the tree path. Okay. All right, here we go. And this one's quite a bit of a puzzle, so we're going to have to... This, this is going to be interesting. And we can get in fights here. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to go through this. I'm going to try to follow the guide for this one. Climb up the stairs, okay. I'm going to try to follow the guide for this one just because I don't want to waste time uh, coming up on the last 20 minutes of my stream here. I think we can get through this entire tree. But I'm going to have to pay close attention. You can buy a console with like 160 games built in and preloaded all the classics. Yeah, I know. I know. I just... 
I have no desire to do that. I'd rather just, at this point, I'd rather just use emulators. Which is what I'm doing right now. Oh, no. I want to go up these stairs. Okay. Walk on the path until an acorn blocks your progress. Push the acorn north into the hole. Which can be accomplished by walking into the acorn and direction you want to move. Once you're done with this, continue the path, climb up the stairs. So the unfortunate thing about this game is, um, I think, I mean, as you guys have noticed, we've been playing now for a couple hours and we haven't really hit a boss fight yet. So you're kind of torn between like, do I want to use my magic that I can only use a few times before I'm out of MP? Or do I want to save it for a boss fight that might never come for a while? <laughs> or save money and do it like squirrels. <laughs> Wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, going back and just using emula uh, going and using emulators is kind of nice. I mean, like when you have a PC that you know can run stuff like that, right? Walk west, push it south four spaces, and then east into one space. Two, three. So that's what we want to do there. Um, right? Once you've done this, continue to follow and climb upstairs, yeah. Walk west, push the acorn south four, and push it east one, and then south into the hole. Oh, wait. I want to get this. Treasure chest. Steel mail. Um, walk back down the previous floor. Previous floor. Um, walk northwest, step into the hole, which will drop you down to the second floor. While counterclockwise, push it in north into a hole. Yep, okay. Go back to the next floor again. Ooh, goblin things. Green slime and goblins. All right, we're doing pretty good on health right now, so let's just take care of this with a bunch of attacks. I think when you get fire level two, then I think fire will attack two enemies at the same time. For the price of, for the cost of one, one amount of MP, and the goblins just run away. It's so random. All right, sweet, nice job, Edward. Uh, west one space, climb north into the hole. Follow the path back up the stairs. Follow the path southeast until you reach an acorn. Push this acorn south two, west one, and south. Oh, Samson's about to die. His, I really need to move the, the ring of defense over to Samson, I think. <clears throat> Let's use an herb instead of her magic. Because we have a decent amount of herbs, and herbs are relatively cheap, so... Alright. Sweet. Okay, so now we wanna go up oh let's let's move the uh let's move the ring real quick. Ring, give Samson Do you wish to equip it? Yes. There we go. So now he's got a little more defense at least. Alright, now we wanna go this way. One Two. Um, oh, okay. So fortunately, these aren't that complicated. At least not yet, anyway. Filling these little holes with acorn things. Ah, oh, two people are asleep. My strongest hitters, that figures. Come on. Oh, and now they're blocking. Come on, guys, wake up. Oh, 
Come on, wake up. Dang it. Okay. I'll take an I'll take a damage of three if that kills the dude. Sure. Oh, there we go. Now we're good. Come on, do a double. Yeah. Oh, dang, still alive. Or, yeah. Wake up. Nice. Okay, sweet. We're good. Come on, this is the strongest bat ever. It scrolls back to the end. He, of course, Samson can't think and move because of his curse. See, now that's when it gets annoying. There we go. This he should die now. Come on, do a double. Yeah. All right. All right, follow the path till we reach an acorn. This looks pretty straightforward here. It looks pretty straightforward. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, like, oh, he got poisoned. That stinks. That's the first poison I've gotten so far. I've been battling these green slimes all day. Well, not all day, but since I got in this tree. Uh, but like I was saying earlier, like, you're kind of torn in this game. Like, you want to use fire and heal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, that'll work. Because she's got some antidotes on her. You want to use your magic, but you've only got... You can only use your magic so many times uh, before you're out. And it's so long before you get to a spot where you can heal again. You want to, so you feel like you need to save it. It's nice, she got awakened. You feel like you need to save it for a boss fight that might not ever come. All right, how's my health and stuff? All right, let's use an herb real quick. Ah. There we go. Okay. Uh, next floor, walk west. All right, we're on floor five. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of floors here. Okay, floor five, walk west, push the acorn south to the wall, then push the acorn east two spaces. South to the wall. South 5, finally push it west into the hole and climb up the stairs. Nice. Nice power attack combo there. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. Ah. So many random fights in this game, yo. So many. Yeah, kill the goblin before he runs away. And he used an herb, what the heck? Kill this guy before he runs. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Double attack. Nice. Oh, he's still alive, though. That's it. See, if I do use my fire, my fire magic, then these guys would have been dead a long time ago. Like, Edward has 15. 15 MP, I mean. But one fire, and then there's an attack one, too. One fire costs two. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. Uh, 
right? Like, when those guys are attacking for that much damage, it just does not seem worth it. Plus, Edward is the last one in the order. Which I think is based on speed, I think. Nice, Samson's level 5. Okay, climb around the inner wall so that you can push the acorn west three spaces. Three west three spaces. Oh, I see. I see. Because we need to get it down there. Ah. Ooh, a scorpion. A giant scorpion at that. But there's only one of them, so we'll probably kill it before it goes. This, before this fight drags on too long. There we go. Mm. Okay. And then we want to push this up. There we go. I'm trying to be very particular because it's, you know, spaces, right? It's a very, uh, box game, um, grid. It's a very grid layout type game. You know, you go one space at a time when you hit the directional pads. So when I'm moving those acorns, I'm using the D-pad. I'm not using my analog stick. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. I want to push it down. Oh, this is such a long one. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do some magic. Hopefully we kill one so that by the time it gets to Edward, he uses the fireball on the other one. Yeah, look at that. 14 damage. It's the, They're like so strong, but I think it's, we use so much MP right now. Alright, now this is going to go this way. And down. Oh, come on. And, yeah. Like, Annie has 19 MP, but Squirrels now only has 3 left. He can cast Fire one more time. <laughs> and Edward can only cast Fire, what, 6 more times total? Seven o'clock. I'm right. Like I'm, I'm rushing to try to get through this sucker. Come on. Now we gotta come out here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be pretty linear. Ooh, do we go left or right? Okay, so walk east along the vine until you reach a long segment of vine leading down towards the ground. Follow the south. Step onto the tree limb and then walk west into the tree. Come on. Open the treasure chest. Counter Jewel, walk east, back outside the tree, climb the vine north, come back to the north path, walk east until you reach the next tree. Okay. Alright. Now that you've crossed over the forest, the only thing left for you to do is find a way back to the ground. Unfortunately, there are no vines for you to climb back down. That means you need to fall down the holes. However, many of the holes have webs under them that will bounce you back up. To get started, walk north and then walk southeast until you reach the hole that is in the southwest corner. OK. 
Okay. Um, southwest corner, next step into the hole, drop to the next floor. Walk east to the wall, then two steps north, then walk east into the hole. Okay. Walk north two steps, then west until you reach a wall. Um, now walk south five steps, and then west into the hole. Okay. Walk north two steps, then west until you reach a wall. Wait, what? Okay, well, there's a treasure chest here, so let's grab this real quick. Source of life. Okay. Now walk northeast into that hole. Northwest so that you're in the north northern part of the tree. Now walk into the most southern hole that is in the northern section. There we go. Floor one. Walk south and exit the tree. Bam! We made it out. Whew. East, exit the forest, and then we need to enter the cave. Oh my gosh, where the heck is this stinking town? We need, we need a save point. We gotta get to a save point. I think we're almost to a town now, where there will be a save point. We're gonna get there. Alright, walk north at the fork, follow the path going northeast. Continue to follow northeast. Ooh, this does... The battle sounds like crazier than in the tree. Squirrel's about to die. Um, Annie, you can use an herb. Oop, no. Not an, an herb. There we go. I'm reading the guide while I'm just spamming X. <laughs> now the next four... Northeast, northeast, northeast. Climb up the stairs. Fort go east. Go northeast. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is ridiculous. We're gonna try to run from this sucker. So many battles, this is ridiculous. Almost made it. Wow, that's crazy. All right. I mean, I gotta. I, I can't just keep missing some missing them. Oh no! Now he's got ice too. That's cool. Attack the orcs. Orc spelled with a K, by the way. <laughs> Come on. Yo, if these are going to take more than three hits to kill, then this is going to be a very long battle. Ooh. Nice counterattack. Don't get hurt from the curse, though, please. Thank you. Don't attack Samson. All right, run away. I like it. I like it. Nice guard. And counterattack with Steiner. Beautiful. And cast fire on that guy to kill him. Bam. Leaves one guy remaining. Herb on Samson and go. Alright, there's an item up here, but I'm gonna try to skip it. Because it's just a counter orb, and I don't need the counter orb, to be honest. There we go. He's done, so we're gonna go up, oh nice, Squirrel's at level seven. 
learns illusion. Okay, Samson's level six. So we're, we're doing some nice leveling here at least. I might want to come back to this cave and level even more. We're gonna go out this way. If we went right, then it leads to an item. But like I said, it's just a counter orb and I'm not too concerned with it. All right, we're almost there, folks. All right, we'll come up here, exit, and then this is the exit here. Almost, almost the exit. A couple puffer things, poisonous frogs. Getting hurt from the curse. That's what I mean. That's what I was talking about earlier. It's going to be super annoying later when he gets hurt for more HP than that. Or VP, rather. the exit. Come on. Ah, oh, right at the end. <laughs> I mean, we're going to go onto the world map anyway, so we're probably going to get into another fight or two on the world map, but we're super close to the town now. Squirrels fall. Don't let squirrels fall. Let's take care of this dude. Dang, weak attacks right now from her. There we go. Beautiful. And he's a level 7 now. Okay. There's a town up there. Some more poisonous frogs. Ooh, I probably should have had any heal squirrels. That's okay. I think we'll be all right. If we can kill one of these guys, yeah, then we'll be all right. I think that might be our last fight before we get to save. Bam! We made it to the town. We made it to Zalagoon. We're gonna come right on in here. And here's the inn. But I don't want to go to the inn because there might be... Sometimes, you know, when you sleep at a new town, then like a cutscene happens. So we just want to find the church to save. That's, that's, that's what I want to do. There it is. Come on. Here we go. Welcome, save game. Yes. Oops. Aw, oh, dang it. I missed. Save game, yes. Oh. I don't want to save over that one. Oh my goodness. Let's focus on what we're doing here. There we go. Yes. There we go. Now we're saving. It's been saved. Do you wish to continue? No. Then rest easy, my son. Whew. Man. So that was cutting it a little close there at the end. Uh, um, we, uh, we almost uh, 
We almost ran out of time here. We're like right up to the end of where I usually like to end my streams. So, um, so I want to remind everyone of the golden acorn from this week. The golden acorn from this week says, remember, it's better to suffer for doing good than to suffer for doing wrong. Essentially, folks, I want to encourage you guys to do the right thing, even when it's not comfortable, even when it's not popular. If you're going to suffer some kind of consequences in life, rest easy knowing you did the right thing. Hopefully, guys, that can encourage you today and the rest of this week. And again, today's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Yay. That's why we started Beyond the Beyond today, a game that has a special place in my heart. Happy birthday. Got back just in time for the end of the stream. Nice, Aerith. Nice, nice. Folks, do check out Aerith. Super great personality. Awesome fun. Um, and uh, yeah, but give her, uh, give her channel a visit. Give her a follow. Check out some of her VODs. Uh, um, great personality and whatnot. So, and thank you for the happy birthday, Aerith, as well. So today's my birthday, but to celebrate my birthday more thoroughly, this Friday, 12-hour stream, my first ever 12-hour stream, we're going to be celebrating my birthday as well as a year as Twitch affiliate, and um, and it's the release of The Outer Worlds, which apparently Twitch Plays is doing a thing on right now with Obsidian. So check out The Outer Worlds. It might be something of interest for you. Um, otherwise, maybe I'll at least get to hang out with you at some point during the 12 hours on Friday. But uh, that's, uh, that's what I got, guys. Thank you guys for everything. <laughs> J-Phone. Oh my gosh. J-Phone, thank you so much for the 100 bits. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. Hopefully you're doing well, sir. Um, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for your continued subscription as well. Really, really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you on Friday as well as everybody else. Uh, but I got to go. I got to get the kids ready. It's, I'm running a little bit behind this morning already. So as always, guys, stay squirrely, and I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks again for everything. You guys are absolutely amazing. <laughs>